Something is wrong with this guitar. It's the toggle. The toggle needs to be replaced. But it's got a hell, you know, little pentagram, the hell guitars thing. Oh, and I've got the back off of it. So you can see this was meant to. But I had a Kaler put on black. I had to hunt down everything. I want everything to be black except for this. And this is custom. This was custom cut out for me for this. And uh, I really thought this was going to be... It was badass. This Super Distortion is you know, mounted directly to the body. So it should be getting a way bigger sound than it's getting. It isn't getting a good sound. See, there it didn't sound that bad. I don't know, man. Well, actually, I took all the effects off except for the boost. Who knows? The nose knows. So, there you go. This is your video for tonight. Uh, it's actually Saturday night. It's my mom's birthday, so I gotta get going. Because uh, I gotta pick up a present. And give it to her. So, there you go. So, happy birthday to my mom. So my dad's birthday is on the 6th, same as Randy Rhodes. My birthday is the 11th, same as Nikki Six. My mom's birthday is the 14th, which is like some actor, I can't remember. We, we were hoping it would be like somebody, you know, cool. I don't know, if anybody knows like a metal, heavy metal guy, a guy in a metal band, hard rock, something cool, whose birthday is on December 14th, let me know. But I'm sure I'll get like 30 or 40 views, maybe 50 if I'm lucky. The last video I put out that made, that got any attention was uh, the uh, Rhodes uh, news report of the items being recovered, which I I had you know I've been busy so I haven't checked I haven't been checking I but I'm telling you since I told you I did call the cops to give them my two cents and they said okay thanks and then called him again like because I was getting harassed by some idiot and it turned out just to be a nobody but they're like just take your comments off and keep the video up I go okay you're right and then I called my attorney <laughs> and he goes don't comment on stuff like cases that are open like that I go oh, you're right so no comment you can comment, and you can say whatever you want, and I'll go, maybe. Anything's possible. But I don't have any absolute proof on who took it or anything. Dougie says he does. He says he thinks he knows. So if he does, then that's good, because there's a good chance we'll get the guitar back. That's mainly it now, is the guitar. Randy's first guitar. I See, I thought it was something else. I didn't know it was that guitar so that is important that he gets we get that back just for the fans and the family and uh yeah there you go 
The Marshall is just like number one or two, probably one, of the line that they made for the ridiculous price that they were asking. And for, you know, it's just a Marshall with a few little mods and uh, not worth the price. And I, plus, besides, I already got a white Marshall, 1982 white Marshall. Uh, JCM 800 it sounds better than any other amp ever. So hopefully you'll hear it again someday. Um, oh, you have heard it, haven't you? You have been listening to my demos, right? Now these are demos. So like this uh, creeping sensation, eternal darkness, deceiver. Deceiver is going to be completely redone. But those three are like a mini concept of uh, it's really actually about drug addiction and then when you hit the bottom and then you realize oh i've been screwed and then it starts to get out so it's kind of like a ride like my career into the music and whoa fun and then whoa crap and then back out and then happy ending so it starts off like we rock and roll and then gets really dark and so you're getting the dark part now and then It'll come out of it. And it's got, I still got a bunch to go. Like Rock and Roll Legend, you know. One that people, I was going to call Embryo at one time. It's a Rock and Roll Legend now. But I noticed that I've gotten stuck. My writing style is stuck in almost, it's in a weird way. It's, I haven't written like this, my guitar playing, because I've, Relearn had to relearn guitar after the accident, and I never played bar chords ever. And I'm playing bar chords now, so it's different for me. I usually play open chords or these, a lot of this. The, the friggin' the chord of every song. And that somebody, every band in L.A. had a song that used these. Ozzy, even with J.G. Lee, everybody. Randy Rose. Crazy Train uses those chords. Everybody. So there you go. That was a L.A. thing. So I got to go subscribe, like, comment, comment, and like. And then, you know, of course, give me your comments. And I will get to the Kiss stuff and... I hit some of it today, but I'll do better later. Because I just wanted to see how this thing sounded. It looks good. But it didn't sound right to me. It sound, still sounds too thin. Metal.